What is going on people? Today we're going to be talking about a couple of heroes that are pay to play and that are some heroes that people kind of have questions about. Are they worth getting? Are they worth investing into? And um, the, the two big ones that we're going to get into is Gannibal and of course Edmond Haley which are heroes that even though they're purple you can just roll um, directly from the game. You have to actually buy the packs etc. Uh, but there's there's a couple of things that I want to point out, right? The the guard skills, they're okay, especially for purple heroes. But it's there's nothing here in the the guard skills that are gonna make you like, oh my god, I gotta have this hero for my marches or in my garrison, etc. It's just it's just not it's just not what these heroes are really going to be uh, providing to you. So if that's not the case, what is it that they do bring? There's one thing that I really, really like about these heroes right off the bat, and that they are aids. When leading a march or garrison, resource gathering speed plus 50%. Now, I'm a sucker for these heroes because they make gathering so much faster, especially if you have the gathering gear as well. Man, it makes such a huge difference. It's, it's big. When you can include at least one of these into your marches, that's really good. So right off the bat, that's something that I look at and I'm like, I like that. I can use that. If you are big on gathering, if you're on top of your gathering game, your marches are back, you send them right out. This is already something that might uh, pique your interest, right? Um, the other thing, and I guess really the biggest thing that these heroes bring to the table are their, their star level benefits, right? Because uh, once you unlock them, you get this rapid construction for Gannibal. It reduces the remaining time of ongoing construction by 240 minutes with a 24 hour cooldown. Now, the same thing can be said for Edmund Haley, and that is instead of construction, it's just simply gonna be research, which, okay, construction, research, 24 hour uh, cooldown. So, this is something that basically you'll be able to do every single day. Now, reduces the remaining time of ongoing research, and if you get the other one, construction by 300 minutes so technically that's what five hours so okay you you get five hours every day now is that enough to actually tell tell yourself okay do, do i want to buy this is this going to be something that i can actually use long term etc not only that remember this is just what you get once you unlock them but once you get them to three star it reduced rapid research cooldown time by six hours, which, come on, you go from 24 to 18, you might be able to use it twice a day sometimes. That's really good. That really kicks it up a level, right? And then the other thing, once you get it to five star, extend rapid research effect time by 300 minutes. So that is quite a bit. That is 10 hours. You can do 10 hours every 18 hours. That's really good. The only problem though is that to get to level 3 and level 5, that means that you're going to have to buy them over and over and over and over. And you get, the, you get the picture, right? So not only do you get this for research, you can get this for construction. Now, the biggest question that people ask when they're looking at heroes like this, of course, is it worth it now that's one of the hardest things to answer when it comes to things like this because it could be worth it for me sure but maybe it's not worth it for you right like i'll give you an example if i'm a newer account i just started in a new kingdom uh i'm castle i don't know i'm castle 20 and i'm doing research i'm doing a bunch of construction etc having a hero like this that i can use every day to help me Cut down the time on construction. Cut down the time on, on research. Absolutely, it will benefit. And over time, this is something that will probably pay itself. Here's the caveat, though. If you're already an account that's pretty established, most of your research is done, your construction is, for the most part, done, this is probably not a hero that's going to be helping you too much. Both of them, really. Uh, now, of course, even with all of that mentioned, the aid thing does come into play because that gathering speed is really nice. There's no denying that. So having both of them for that would be great. But I would say that both of these heroes are better off 
the newer your accounts are, right? So if you have construction every day, you gotta put something to construct every day. You don't have huge construction that takes 20, 30 days, etc. Then, you know, this is something that will help you exponentially more. But if you're to the point where your constructions are pretty much all done, or you have like really uh, like long-term constructions, you can use it to, the, to use those constructions, but that usually means that you're pretty much almost done. So you're probably not gonna be able to see the money that you spend on this actually translate into, you know, the, the time that you would save either construction or research, etc. There is, however, the possibility that in the future, there is gonna be more construction, there is gonna be more research. So having this handy, it's kind of like future proof because it's something that you're going to be, it's going to be at your disposal for the whole time. Um, so it's one of those things where it's, it's a long term thing that you have to think about. Um, if you're in it for the long haul, if you're going to be in it for the next six months, the next year, two years, then for sure, these heroes are, are heroes that are going to pay off by themselves, especially if you use them every day. Now, if you're a slacker, like some of you are out there, don't, don't deny it. I, if it's hitting home, you know it's you. And I'm talking about the ones that log in, don't do anything, forget to do X amount of things every day, and then maybe you'll use this twice a week, three times a week. You're wasting a lot of stuff. So if that's the case, don't, don't get these because it's just, you're, you're not going to get your money back. Um, there is though... Something that is very underrated in games like this, and that is the collector side of things. There are people out there that don't necessarily want to max them out, but they need they need to have them. They need to have all the heroes just so they can say that they have them. And if you're one of them, perfectly fine. Um, if you want to unlock all the heroes, these heroes, even just that one star, are going to be fairly good for you. Especially if you're one of those collectors that need to have everything or, you know, etc. Um, but overall, if your accounts are pretty much maxed, these heroes are probably not going to move the needle for you. So spending on them is probably not going to do you any good. But if your account is new, especially in a newer kingdom, etc. These heroes will definitely make a difference. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. As always, make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button, and share. Oh, hit all the buttons. You know, it's just all the buttons. Except the dislike, that'd be rude. Either way, appreciate you guys for coming through, and until later.